Okay, they've gone again. Um, we can move on to question three. So, um, if we had a z-axis to the reference frame shown in question two, so we had an x-axis there and a y-axis, uh, which way would the z point in a right-handed axis set? Well, remember, this pistol-shaped grip here, the index finger goes along x, the y-axis is the middle finger and the thumb, is coming out of the board. Thumb is coming out of the board. So, out of the board is the direction of the plus z axis, which is answer E. None of the above. Um, so, into the plane of the paper is actually minus z, using the right handed rule. Okay, question four. An orangutan is located at, so this is its position vector, don't forget. An orangutan is located at 10 meters, 7 meters, 12 meters. And that's just the same as writing it as a column vector, 10 meters, 7 meters, 12 meters. So Moore talks about in the textbook writing vectors in either of these formats. How high off the ground is it if the reference frame is standard orientation? Well remember we said in class that north is the y-axis in standard orientation. East is the x-axis and up is the z-axis. So x, y, z, this is up. So the orangutan is 12 meters off the ground, so that's answer C. One mark if your paper got that right. Um, the orangutan now moves. So that was its first position. This is its second position. It moves to 1 meter, 17 meters, 8 meters. And we're asked what its displacement is. Its displacement is the final position minus the initial position, which is the same as the change of position. So the displacement is just R2 minus R1. And remember, the whole reason for splitting our vector into three components is so we can treat each component separately. So first of all, we do the x component. 1 minus 10 meters is minus 9 meters. 17 meters minus 7 meters is 10 meters. That's the y component. And finally, 8 meters minus 12 meters is minus 4 meters. Uh, you can get one mark if you have the numbers right with the correct signs. You can only have two marks if you write this as a vector, either like this or as a column vector, or if you want with the x hat, y hat, and z hat directionals, uh, and you include the units. So the second mark is for the units and a correct vector form. Uh, the first mark is for actually getting the numbers right with the correct signs. Oh, going to have to go again.